instead of trends, maybe focusing on some of the challenges that uh, we recognize. Um, we look at the co-location market. Um, the biggest challenge is onboarding customers quickly. So um, a co-location will sign a contract with the customer and then it's really important. It might take a long time to get that signature, but it's really important at that point to then put them in a, uh, I don't know if I want to say a billable posture, but, but in and, and get their um, uh, deployment completed as quickly as possible. Uh, the second would be mitigating risk. Um, there's a lot of risk um, in data centers in general, making sure to mitigate that, whether it's during the implementation phase, whether it's on, on day two uh, or day you know, 50, just making sure that you're limiting that risk throughout the entire journey. And the final area would be uh, making sure that uh, you have your costs maintained, so lower costs. And, when we look at onboarding customers faster, there's a lot of things that, that we do. I think the key is uh, for us that we're engaged um, early and often, that we help with the planning. Um, one of the things we've done for customers to speed up that deployment time is trying to take some of that work off the data center floor. So um, we have a pre-configured cabinet offering, for example, that um, we'll go ahead and install all the cable management, um, all the patching, We'll document um, the ports, we'll add labels. Um, we'll do all of that work as opposed to that getting done uh, on the data center floor. And we typically see that we can cut maybe half of that deployment time out because it's almost like a rack and roll cabinet at that point. Um, the last thing you need to do or the only thing is roll it into place and install the equipment at that point or at that time. One of our biggest customers is a large co-location um, located in the Asia Pacific and we've done this to uh, populate their meet me rooms um, uh, throughout the entire globe. Um, and we've taken, you know, for that example, um, an 18 week deployment time. This is from the time they uh, do procurement to um, this equipment going live. We've taken that down to 10 weeks um, by this, this rack and roll pre-configured approach. We find efficiencies and we find them wherever we can. And we found an efficiency here. Um, so the key is um, leveraging those efficiencies. It just doesn't make sense for certain things, especially, you know, there's a, another challenge here that we haven't even talked about and that's Finding labor and, and um, having limited labor in some places these data centers are being built. So this is just another way to solve that problem. So I definitely think that approach is going to grow and become uh, more mainstream if it's not considered mainstream yet. I think people are appreciating um, the importance of um, cooling optimization and energy efficiency a little bit more today than maybe they were in the past. Um, that's something we've helped uh, a lot of co-locations out with is um, uh, we've done this with our SnapSense solution where you know, we'll put sensors throughout the entire environment um, and that gives you an idea of what um, your energy or your cooling looks like uh, as well as your air pressure. Um, but it also, we have a, an active control function where now we can talk to your CRA and say, hey, the fan needs to speed up, the fan needs to slow down, the temperature should go up and, and down and automate that process to make sure we're doing the right thing at the right time. It's making sure you understand what's going on in your environment and then being able to make educated data-driven decisions based on that information. Um, and, and, you know, I think I mentioned, you know, mitigating risk, that kind of plays in this too, because now um, you have eyes and you have sensors in your environment so that you have real-time alerting when certain things happen. Maybe you have um, an inefficiency in, in terms of how you're separating your hot or cold aisle. Um, maybe your air pressure is off somewhere. Maybe you installed um, a uh, high density piece of equipment somewhere and didn't account for that. So all of those things are, are being monitored and allow you to make quick decisions and proactive decisions as opposed to um, being reactive. Um, between um, 2016 and 2017, um, we went from 1,200 to 1,300 co-location providers globally with the acquisition of about 6 million square feet. So there was a ton of mergers and acquisitions in this market and new players are coming. So it's still a very competitive market.